how do I get a job working in a music studio? Now, it's a question I'm asked quite often, and I, I, I receive a, a good two emails a day asking if I have any jobs available here. Um, I don't currently, but I will be looking for someone in the near future. Um, so what I always say when I receive these emails, I say we don't currently have any positions, but please send your CV over. Now, would you believe it, but probably one in five, maybe one in five, actually end up sending their CV over. Now, this isn't necessarily me playing hardball or kind of trying to gauge whether that person's serious or, you know, a professional that has a CV, but it is a way of, of working out whether that person um, is serious or a professional and does have a CV written up. Um, if if I literally said to them, send your CV over, I'll keep it on file. When we do have a job available, I will contact you, right? The fact that only one in five probably send over a CV, um, it, it would imply that either they're not serious um, and they don't need to be kind of thought of, or they uh, don't have a CV um, and they don't have it to hand to send out. Um, the people that do send the CVs over, I do keep them. I've got a folder of CVs <coughs> that when I am looking for a position, they will be where I will look first. I will read through all the CVs before um, contacting anyone. So I will look through these CVs. Um, and I've got, I've got stacks of them, really. I've got, I've got a folder, uh, albeit they're PDF CVs, but I have stacks of them, uh, in this folder, which I can go through. Um, and I will pick the, the better CVs out of, um, the ones that I read. And I will then invite those people in for an interview when we do have that position available. So how do you get a job in a, in a music studio? Right, one way is to start one yourself. You all have studios at home. All you've got to do is have a good service that you're able to um, deliver to to clients. And then all it's a case of doing is having a great service. And then it's just a case of being able to pick up clients. And if you can do that, you can create your own business. Then you're the boss. So that's one way of looking at it. If you want to go and down the route of, of kind of contacting people like myself, you know, we get contacted a lot about this. So I know what I don't like, and what I do like. I know the people that contact me and I literally go, no, um, not going to, not going to even kind of entertain even an interview or anything, even if the job was available, there's certain certain criteria and certain things that people do that you just go, nah, that they're, they're, they're not they're not um, they're not what I want. And at the end of the day, the boss, myself, I'm looking for a certain person, and I want to bring in that certain person um, who's gonna who's gonna fit into the the kind of group dynamics that we already have here. And it's just going to slot in. It's not going to take much work to kind of mold them into the position that we need them. Um, so here's here's two two kind of emails that we get. We get one email which is uh, "Yo, bro, got any work? Um, uh, I'd love to work in your studio. Uh, hit me back. Nice one." Yeah, you know, there. That's one email that we get, and that email gets a reply. And I will say, send a CV over. Um, and if they do send a CV over, <coughs> oh, I will take a look at it, <coughs> but they're the types of emails that just, you know, they get put to one side. They're not taken seriously because of the way the email is written and presented to us. It's not, it's not professional. Then you get the emails, which are, um, dear Paul and Nick or dear audio animals, Blah, 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 explaining yourself about yourself, talking about certain things. Uh, I've attached my CV. Uh, greatly appreciate you getting in contact with me. They're the emails that I will read. I will read through that email. I will then get to the CV. I might glance over the CV and I'll, I'll see, all right, okay. Uh, so they've got some, some really good projects and stuff that they've done and they're quite 
clearly capable of and you know the thing with a cv is i know that people put you know you put certain things onto a cv um to kind of build it up a bit i, I mean i've written cvs and and that's what you do you that is that is what what happens so you do take a, a cv with a little bit of pinch of salt but the general gist of a CV, ninety nine percent of it isn't isn't a kind of fabrication of a, or, or a lie or anything like that, or just kind of bending the truth a little bit. The majority of a CV is 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 correct, and you can gauge a lot about a person on the CV. So I will take a look through that CV. I'll go, yeah, he's he's a good he's a good candidate, and I will put him in a certain folder. Now I've got I've got fold, different folders for different different types of people. Now you've got the kind of level one people that this guy would have been put into and he gets put into a folder there that's the first folder we look at and that kind of whittles down the people who are you know sent the right email said the right things or have some sort of in with the studio already or we kind of generally know them already they all get put into there because they're the people that we are taking seriously um so we'll we'll go through that folder first before any other folders the the fact is is that things like like professionalism uh they go a long way when you're looking for a job especially a job in a studio things like that go a long way um because what you got to understand is that you're not just <clears throat> getting a job sitting in a room doing work you're working with people you're working with people like myself you know you've got to be you've got to be very uh, you've got to kind of you got to fit in with what we already do because what we already do is what we've molded into our, our our kind of the audio animals ethos. It's the it's our it's it's who we are. This is everything that we are, and we need someone. If we're going to bring someone into this, we need someone who is equally the same as us and the same thought process and the same same kind of mentality and the same work ethic as us. Otherwise it just doesn't work. And that's what's something that you need to establish with the person you're taking on. So the best way to get into a studio is obviously getting contact. You have to have contact with the studio The you know, unless, unless you are someone brilliant, like um uh, you know someone who's so someone who's well established um someone who's well established unless you're that sort of person who's well established already in the industry people aren't going to contact you you're not going to be contacted to be brought into um someone else's studios um I've been contacted on a couple of occasions. Mainly, um, I get contacted a lot for teaching, and it's just I'd love to do teaching. I'd love to kind of, I'd love to 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 kind of show knowledge uh, and and pass knowledge on to people. But it's just it's it's so time consuming to go and do any sort of tuition. Um, it, it is something that I will do at some point, but um, not right now. It's but like um, where I was going with that was that. <clears throat> Um, what you want to do, what you want to try and do is you need to get an in with the studios. The best way, the best way to get a job is if you can intern or not even intern, just, just do some work experience at the studios, right? I've got one guy and he's, dad actually um he's a young fella he's he's i think he's 16 17 um and his dad dad's a friend of uh, one of my good friends um and he his son came in you know he's a young fella who's um you know he's doing he's doing his thing he's got all his he's got I like his work work ethic and at 17 he did like I didn't have that work ethic at six, 17 at 17 he's already doing a lot of things that I I do now, but he's doing at 17 and he's done them all off his own back, which is brilliant. I love that. And I watch him on, on Instagram and um, I follow him on Instagram because I'm genuinely interested in, in his development. And um, he's coming in for work experience at some point. And he's a prime candidate for someone that I can I can bring in and build up into into a great engineer because he's young. Um, I'm able to teach him. But the reason I am. Um, I'm, 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 he's even on my radar as someone that I would bring into the studios because a, he's been to, to meet me. He's been into this studio. He's, we've spoken uh, a fair bit. I'm, I've spoken with his dad. I went on a stag do with his dad the other week. You know, I've, I've got to, got to meet, um, 
I got to meet his pa- parents, things like that. So it's like, you know, it's, it's that, that in as, and he's, he's only got that in the reason he got that. He, the reason he got to come in here and speak with me was through his dad working with one of my good mates and just like, oh, he's got a studio. My son's, oh, my son's a, um, a, a wants to be an aspiring engineer. Oh, right. I've got a mate who's, um, who runs a studio. Well, it, well I'll, I'll take him along one day and, um, uh, meet him. It's only the fact that like he, he came in the studio, he was here and, um, you know, he was, um, it was impressive of, of his, you could, you could gauge that he wanted to learn and wanted to, to progress as a, as an engineer, as a, as a DJ, as a producer, all these things. But it was only once, um, he, he, he said, I'll oh, follow, follow me on Instagram. We'll, we'll, we'll follow each other and, and, and kind of keep in contact, blah, blah, blah. It was only once I then followed him on Instagram and I looked at what he was doing. And I was like, blimey, he's, you know, he's, he's doing He's doing really good stuff. He's 17. He's producing his own <coughs> um, sample packs, releasing sample packs. Um, he's doing little tuition things. Uh, he's doing um, like these DJ videos and things like that. And all these little things just show just show me as a director of a company, looking at that, they show me that he's he's going in the right direction and at 17 to be thinking about all these things to develop yourself and build yourself up it's impressive because I weren't doing that at 17 that's for sure and um I I don't see many other people doing that and it's 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 it it's all that sort of stuff where you know I I do an employer in the music industry will will sometimes it will they will follow your your uh, progress, and they will pick the right time to maybe get in contact with you. Um, but this guy, for instance, he's coming to do a, like his dad said to me whilst we was on the, on the stag do said to me, Paul would um you know we'd had we'd had a few drinks and stuff, so I would have probably said yes to anything. But he said to me, you know, Paul, um, is it all right if my son comes in? Uh, does a little bit of work experience with you and I was like yeah of course he can why not yeah 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 yeah. anytime anytime because because he's already been here I've met him he's a lovely kid um I would have said I would have always said yes um but it was the fact that you know we, we were there having a drink and um you know I've met his dad his dad's a lovely fella and he asked me if, if his son can do work experience so I said of course he can um so he's going to come in and do some work experience now the the, the thing with that is He's created an, an inn now where he's doing work experience here. So he'll do he'll do maybe a week's worth of work experience. And I won't I said to his dad, I said, I will not get him making cups of tea. He will be helping me do things that are practical and he will be actually getting some genuine work experience. And um, you know, I don't need to tell you guys, but like it's highly valuable to get work experience in a Dolby Atmos studio. There's not many 17 year olds who have experienced Dolby Atmos, let alone spent a week working in a Dolby Atmos studio with an engineer. Um, you know, we'll do films, we'll do music, we'll do all sorts. Um, you know, all these, all these different things. Um, he'll get, he'll get great experience on, on what Dolby Atmos is all about. He can go for, go through work with Nick for a couple of days, do do a bit of uh, learn about a bit of uh, stereo mastering and things like that. Uh, for a seventeen year old to get hands on with analog equipment, that's that's worth its weight in gold. But what I'm getting at here is, it's not just he. It, look, had he come to me with an email saying, "Hi, Paul." I'm a 17 year old producer. Um, I'm, I'm looking to get into studios. I want to get some work experience. Um, <coughs> all these different things. Uh, here's my Instagram. Um, I'd appreciate you if you gave me a follow, uh, I've, I've, I've followed you. If you follow me back and, um, we we'll keep in touch. Now I'll tell you how that situation would have gone. Had I received that email, I would have not, I would have maybe looked at his Instagram, but I wouldn't have followed it because I have no, I only follow the people that I actually have, um, I, I've spoken to and have, have a connection with. I don't follow people just for the sake of following. I, I genuinely use my Instagram, um, and I genuinely follow the people I'm actually interested in. Um, not that if, if I aren't following you, I'm, it's not that I'm not interested in you. It just doesn't, we haven't spoken in, in that, in that kind of, um, in that sort of, um, uh, I don't know, online thing. 
Um, so now he's he's got this um, he's got this in with us in the sense that so if we'd have received that email. Um, I wouldn't have looked at his. Inst- I would have looked at his Instagram. What might not have followed or anything like that. But had I received this email, I'd have, I'd have not. It wouldn't have progressed as far as it has, because the difference is, is he would have just been if he'd have sent a CV along, or I'd have requested a CV and he'd sent a CV. He would just be put. He would have been put into the pile of people that I would take take seriously. They're the they're the prime candidates. He would have maybe probably he would have been put into that but he would have been put into a subgroup which is basically young uh people that need to be trained up um so the fact is the difference between his him having an uh, it's, it's that cliche it's not what you know it's who you know as well um him knowing my mate or his dad working with my my good mate and then my good mate in saying Paul, can you do me a favour? Can you get my my mate's son in the studio? Um, he wants to experience a few things, uh, and me saying, "Yeah, of course you can," because you're you're my good mate. And um, had I received that e- as an email, I, I necessarily w- I wouldn't have necessarily taken it as far as we have. Um, and it's it is all because of that not what you know who you know situation where he's got as far as he has, and now. Um, it's all down to him in the sense that um, if he wants the work experience, the work experience is going to be here. We just need to now get in contact and, and, and sort that out. But as well is it's not going to be, and I'm going to forward this video on to him just because obviously if I'm talking about him, this, what we're, what I'm explaining now for him to actually see and hear will be worth its weight in gold because he'll know what, what's gone right, what's gone wrong. <coughs> And what he needs to do next. See, the next stage for him would be to to organise that work experience. Say, get in contact, badger me, make sure that that I don't forget. Because you know, people like myself, people in in this industry who are working in studios, you know, that's not at the top of our list. But it might be at the top of your list. But it might. It's not, certainly not at the top of our list of, of in the grand scheme of things of what to do. So it will take a little bit of you going. Paul, can I get into the studio? Do do a week of um of work experience. Like, oh, you know what? Next week, next week, I'm doing a film uh, for three days. Right? You would be brilliant to do work experience on this film with me, and then you could do the other two days working on some um some some other like music. But I'm doing three days of, of working on this film, and uh, it'd be great for you to kind of uh, get an insight into how music, uh, how 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 a film is put together in Dolby Atmos, um. And then, because because at the end of the day, even if it is just making a cup of tea and overseeing things, it's still me working constantly on a film, and someone coming in and and just bringing the cups of teas and just just generally being, you know, having having a little bit of insight into it. And the good thing about working on a film with someone is that you can kind of everybody's watched the film and everybody can see watch the visuals and go right okay. Yeah, there's, there's, um, you know, like there was a film I was doing the other day where a, a, a horse runs across across the screen, and um, goes from right to le- uh, from left to right, but um, so the panning in in Dolby Atmos was picking up the 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 object for the horse and actually moving it as it visually moves across the screen as it runs around like that and it comes around the back so you can actually physically move it around the speakers like that so that the visuals work perfectly with the the audio and visuals work perfectly together um things like that everybody can can get their heads around so someone like him he he's he's going to be great working with me on on a film because it's it's not there's no some of the technical aspects yeah of course he doesn't understand all the te- technical aspects but everybody understands how sound should look and sound and how it should reflect and there's certain things that you know you can sit there watching and uh, have input on and i will say to him look have input on this if you see something that i'm missing by all means point it out I th- that's what i want from you um so to get back onto the subject of how to get um, a job in a studio. What what this whole video is based around is getting that into the studio, getting 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 actually in the studio. Once you're in the studio, 
you can then work on getting a job at the studio. But the main thing is, he's getting in there first of all, because you're not just going to get invited in. You've got to kind of, you've got to get, there's got to be either an in through someone else. If you've got a mate at the studio already, get into that studio via your mate. <coughs> um, show interest. If you're, if you're going down the route of trying to get invited, you're probably not going to get invited. You've got to understand that there's so many people are constantly asking to get into a studio. For me, running this studio that doesn't have an open door policy, there's no there's no open door to this studio. This is an online business. It's not like we open the door to the, to the public um, and have a sign outside. That's not the case. So there's no way of people, the only way you can get into this studio is by, via invite. Um, so for us to actually invite someone in who we don't know, who nobody's vouched for, they have to be very, very, very impressive. Um, so yeah, it's it's a very difficult um, thing to, to kind of get into because there's hundreds of thousands of people who want this job, who want to do what I'm doing or, or, or do be an assistant to me. Um, they want that job. Um, and there's, there's a lot of people out there. I mean, for me to get two emails a day minimum um, regarding any sort of work, and I haven't even uh, kind of posted out that there is a job, you know, imagine when when I do post out that, oh, there's a mastering job, or, or there's a there's an internship, there's a young kind of, uh, does it, does anybody, does any, look, he, look, if I posted out, um, onto our socials, for instance, or posted onto our website or posted onto any of the forums. We, <coughs> we have a Dolby Atmos um, um, work experience day for one person um, this week. You can spend the whole week with us, work experience, um, and, yeah, there's a little bit of money in it for you, Um and yeah, if I posted that out, do you know how many people would probably get in touch? I mean, ridiculous amounts of people would get in touch. Um, the fact that two people a day get in touch now and there's no job. Imagine if I put a post out saying there was a job, th there would be a lot. So you, you would be one person out of probably, you'd probably be one person out of, let's say one, one out of a thousand, say a thousand people applied for this one job. One person can get it. Now that's, you know, it's, that's difficult. And obviously for us as, um, as the employer, um, we wouldn't necessarily, obviously we would look at each person. <clears throat> we would look at them in the sense of, right. Are they, if they were established mastery engineer, for instance, say it was a mastery engineer job, established mastery engineer, who's brilliant at what they do already simple we can pick them up put them straight into a studio they start uh working that's brilliant but they're gonna they're gonna require more wage uh then you've got a person who's right okay this person doesn't know what they're doing they have to be trained they have to be kind of built up this might take a year this might take two Okay, so we put them in, but they're going to start at a low wage and do like a more of a um, a uh, kind of um, helping out job as we as we go, and then learning. The 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 now let's say for instance we've got a few mastery engineers that we've we've kind of whittled it down to. Now it comes down to it doesn't come down to ability, right? We're all they're all got the ability to do great mastering, but. Now it comes down to whose personality fits with us and our who fits in with our group dynamic. You know, who's polite, who's who's a little bit arrogant and rude. Because <coughs> those people are straight to the bottom of the pile. We want nice people. We want people who we, we're going to enjoy working with. You know, so they go, the people who are polite, they go to the top of the pile and you will work out who's going to work best with you and um, your business. Um, so yeah, to summarize, to summarize, I would say basically 
the best way to get an in with the studio is obviously know someone in that studio. Try and get into the studios. As soon as you get into the studios, that's when you can start kind of getting a job, um, kind of lining up the job aspect of it, getting getting in with the studio, getting to know the people who, who are working there, everything like that. Um, if you're applying for a job, if there's a job available and you're applying for it, um, be th bear in mind <clears throat> that there's lots of other people who are equally as talented as you, um, and maybe sometimes better, but what you have is if you are right for the company, right for the people that you're working with. You've got the right mentality. You've got the right kind of um, manners, everything like that. If you're the right person, it doesn't necessarily matter if you're not, you haven't got all the skills yet because the skills can be taught, but the manners and things like that, they can't be taught. That's, that's ingrained in you. Um, so yeah, <sighs> You know, I hope these videos and this video really help someone. Um, and I would love it if um, when we do post out that we have um, an availability, uh, someone has, the person who gets the job has taken from this video all the things that I've said. And, you know, what I probably do is I will, I will keep this video um, up on YouTube and I'll grab the link and I will I will email this uh, when I, when I, when I ask, uh, when I get the interview um, process going, for instance, I'll I'll send this video and say, just you know, have a watch of this, um, and then you'll know kind of a little bit of um, what to expect when it comes to how to get this job that you're applying for, and this will give you a good insight into a few things. So yeah, I hope this helps someone or a few people out there, and if it does, do let me know because I do care. And um, yeah, on to the next video.